I have asked if someone invests in, nat in national savings scheme, example, Mehboud or pension defense saving, etc., and gives all its profit among needy like sick for medicine, poor, etc., is it allowed to invest in institutions like national savings scheme, banks, etc.? Brother Muhammad Junaid asked the question, is it allowed to invest in national savings schemes? Is it allowed to put in bank and give all the returns to rich, uh, to poor people for buying medicine, for treatment, etc.? You have not mentioned what national scheme is it? Is it Islamic Sharia compliant or not Sharia compliant? Marshall and Malaysia, you have several schemes which are Sharia compliant. So investing in Sharia compliant schemes is good. But most of the other parts of the world, even in Muslim country, they are not Sharia compliant. So if you are investing in a national scheme which is riba based, which is not Sharia compliant, it is haram. If you are investing in banks which are conventional banks, which give interest, which give riba, it is haram. But if you are keeping your money in an Islamic bank which is Sharia compliant and giving you profits and returns, it is permitted. If you keep in a national scheme which is not Sharia compliant, which is riba based, or in conventional bank and give the profit to the poor people, I would consider it is haram. Allah is clearly mentioned, mentioning in the glorious Quran, in Surah Tawbah, in Allah is saying clearly, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 178 and 179, that give up your demands of riba of interest. And if you give up not your demands, take notice of a war from Allah and His Rasul. That Allah and his Rasul will do jihad with you if you involve in riba, if you interest in, if you involve in interest. So if you are saying that you will keep in a conventional bank which is riba based or keep in a national scheme which is not Sharia compliant riba based, what will happen? Allah will wage a war against you. Giving interest and taking interest is haram. If you have to give in charity first, you have to take it or not. There are some people who say that okay, you can take the riba based on given charity, I disagree with it. Allah has clear cut that Allah and His Rasul will wage a war against you. If you involve in riba, it doesn't say that don't enjoy the benefits of riba. Involving, giving, taking, signing, all are haram. So when you keep in a national scheme which is riba based or a conventional bank, you have to sign. I feel haram. Even if it is better to keep in a current account and don't take money and don't give charity, that will get you more sawab than keeping in a conventional bank. Taking riba and giving charity, it's haram. Because when you keep in a conventional bank, you are encouraging that system. If you are keeping a savings account or interest-based fixed, fixed deposit, you are encouraging the system. If you are keeping as a last resort, if there is no Islamic bank, if you keep in a conventional bank in a current account, you are signing that you will not take any interest. Though the bank will benefit, it will not benefit as much as they benefit in a fixed deposit, where they can utilize the money the way they want in the bar. In a current account, they are not allowed, but yet they utilize. But you have no option. You are not giving writing to them. In a fixed deposit, you are giving in writing to them, yes, I will take riba from you. So they give you riba, and then multiple times they make more profit. In the riba system, it is haram. So, in a conventional bank or national scheme which involves riba, taking the money and not utilizing and giving to the poor people is also a major sin according to me. What you can do, you can keep in national savings which are Sharia complying which is there in Malaysia or in Islamic banks which is not riba based, then you give in charity no problem, you keep it for yourself also no problem. But keeping in a conventional bank on national scheme which are riba based and not Sharia compliant and giving charity is also haram according to me. Yes, if you don't need the riba money and you're giving in charity, you get some plus points, but the negative points are yet more. Riba is a major sin. According to Imam Madhabi, it is the twelfth major sin in Islam. And our beloved Prophet said there are various levels of riba, and the lowest level is like doing zina with your mother. So please don't indulge in keeping in conventional bank. Those scholars who say keep it in the bank and give in charity, I disagree with them. You are doing zina with your mother, it is yet a major sin. Best is keep in the current account. Allah will take care of the poor people. You are not the rub. Yes, if you give charity, you are doing good for yourself. But keeping, doing a major sin, keeping in a conventional bank or 
in a national scheme which is based on riba is totally haram and you should not indulge in that. Better keep in the current account, don't give charity or keep an Islamic bank and give that money in charity. Even that money don't give in charity, it is just better. You should not involve yourself in riba directly or indirectly.